you pick here? It's a beautiful location. Uh, the, the area is beautiful. There's, yeah, there's, yeah, the farm is beautiful. Um, it's a great place. You know, we wanted a lot of land. We wanted a place where the boys could learn how to farm. Um, you know, we're you know we're hoping to uh, teach them how to farm, teach them culinary skills. Um, you know, and that question always gets raised. When I did it in Morgantown, people said, why there? Why not go out in the country? You know, whenever, it's no matter where these treatment centers go, nobody wants them. It's a, not in my backyard is typically what, you know, what they call it. And nobody wants it near them. You know, everybody realizes there's a drug and alcohol problem, but nobody wants it near them. And it's fears, you know, you worry. And I get it too. My family, my mom, my grandparents, they all live in the community. So there's, you know, but, but it, you know, it does not, there's no threat to the community. Doesn't devalue properties. We've never had an incident. There's no, there's, you know, it's good people sober. You know, anybody that's at Jacob's Ladder is sober. There's people in every community, there's drugs and alcohol being abused. You know, it's not going to be here, you know. I'm Bonnie Lamb. I live near, within two miles of these rehab centers in Florida. These guys were not confined. They could catch the city bus, go wherever they wanted. And I lived two miles away, and they were clear out on our property. One night at 1030, the police pulled up in front of our house, picked one up with the bracelet. I don't want to live this way again. I lived that way for three years with one, with a rehab center. So I can't speak to what was going on in Florida, but in Jacob's Ladder, they're not leaving the premises. They're going to be at on the farm, and they're not going anywhere. You still have a question?